Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Rogue in the Arena. We have four wins, two losses, so we are now our last life here. So hopefully we can uh, win three games in a row and get up to my predicted seven wins. Let's see, that's another Rogue here. We beat the last Rogue with this deck, so hopefully we can repeat that. Um, Alright, looking for two drops. Minions, mainly. Wow, that mountain giant! He just loves me. He always wants to be there. <laughs> and, you know, I've gotten some use out of the mountain giant this run, but I'm not really sure I want it in my opening hand. Ah well. That's a pretty strong late game in an opening hand. Yeah. I think, I think maybe just trade the Eviscerate here. It's probably the right choice. Just kind of try and uh, survive the early game until we can get to our strong cards. Well, we actually have a 3 drop, 4 drop, 5 drop, so that's good. I uh, don't wanna. Oh! Ah! The thing is, if she has a mech, then my iron for a grizzly just dies. So, maybe we should coin out the dragon link mechanic. It's not really great either, is it? I mean, she can still... Mm. Yeah... Huh. Oh. That's a dangerous weapon, because it's like, she might not be able to buff it, but I didn't know. And it stopped me from playing the Iron Fur Grizzly. So many options. Alright, let's see what you got. Deadly poison. Oh, well, that's a big weapon now. I guess. Yeah, she probably doesn't even have mechs, but. That doesn't matter now. Well, it does, because if she gets a mech out, it's to the 5 attack. Uh, let's. Let's clear the board here. here we go. Without playing a minion. Alright. Alright, that works. And we have, well, uh, I guess it's fairly even. Yeah, it's a pretty even game so far. The stand ready. Oh, that's a very small warlord. Oh, it is a raid. So because she has that free attack, I think I would prefer just playing the wolf rider here. Since both the iron for and the, but it's because the wolf rider can at least get some damage in first. And I think I'll just attack here as well. Because I am very likely to play the Assassin's Blade next turn. And still can't play these big guys. Hopefully I can be able to play the Mountain Giant someday. I just... Hmm. Maybe try and play them. Turn 9, I suppose. That could work. Play that on turn 8. Alright, trail. Yeah, this is fine. It sets up perfectly for the Assassin's Blade. That she's running out of cards. We have very strong cards coming up. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a turn 9. Because turns. I might just play these two here, then that next turn, then that on turn 9. Oh, we also have a sprint. Interesting. But I think we should clear the board here. The sad part is that the Iron first is gonna die there, but at least he takes free damage from it, and that'll be the end of that weapon. <laughs> yeah, turn eight, turn nine, and then we spent. Well, she's low on cards, but she has some pretty decent ones in her last few. That is a little scary. But let's do that. That. Ah, we're getting low. It's a good thing she doesn't have a lot. 
And she's low too, so a 7-7 seven, seven is pretty scary for her, I'm sure. We must cleanse the sun well. She's gonna go for the face and try and rush me down. That's understandable. And that's actually problematic. She has five. Um, Alright, let's play this one. Yeah, if she gets any kind of... Ugh. Well, we have to board control here. We attack... That. Okay. So... If we go for the face... Is there any benefit to killing one of those? Does that really help us? Like, we're gonna have to go for lethal next turn. Hmm. Alright, if she gets a heal... ...and go for the face... ...then I can't kill her next turn. If I don't. Yeah, okay, let's do this. The good thing is, if she gets eviscerate, she can't combo into it, so that's only... Abomination! No! Um. Wait, so that takes it down to 10. Uh, let's see, if we run that into that, that takes it down to... Uh, then we can dag up, get it down to 9. Yeah. Are they... We'll also kill that. We also need to kill that one. Hmm. But that will buff, be buffed up by that. So we can't actually attack the face. But wait, if you play the Spiteful Smith... ...then that'll be enraged. So we do that. And then we do that. And then we have lethal. Whew. That was a close one. <laughs> we got down to one life. <laughs> oh my. That was incredibly close. I didn't see it at first, but I'm sure I'm happy that I saw it before... ...before the end. Okay. Okay. One, one win closer. We had five wins. Need two more. Then I'll be happy with the run. Well, at least, I mean, even if we lose now, five wins, hey, quite the worst. Uh, let's see. Got a one drop, let's just hang on to that. Uh, I think I'm gonna see if I can get a real two drop here. Since I have that one drop, the, um, the Eviscerate has less value for turn two. Because if he plays something like a Knife Juggler, I can already kill it with... Um, Walk an infiltrator, so and I kind of like lost a hand, but at least it's something. We can play something. All right, one, two, three, I suppose. And he's a priest, so he doesn't have a hero power that deals one damage. Pretty happy about that. You should place a 2-3, we just kill it with a dagger. Alright. Oh, a yeti. Well, now I'm starting to feel good about these cards. That's a lot of pressure we are applying here. Like a minion every turn. And on turn 4, it's actually a solid minion. I'll take that trade. Oh, another yeti. I think I like that yeti more if the mana addict survives, because then I could use the spare part to buff it up. If it dies, of course. Right, so let's play the mechanical yeti. Oh, yeti, yeti, ogre. Not bad. I don't think the mechanical yeti is gonna die here though. 
The light does not discriminate. Bomb lover. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Very nice. Wow, everything is just working out to this game. This is couldn't really be any better. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. If we play the ogre, that's a twelve. But we could also just clear the board. It's so weak to holding over though. Nah, I mean, I'll have these two minions survive. And then I'll have a spare part for the mana addict, so. It's alright. Just hope she doesn't get uh, the freeze one. The coolant. Okay. So, I think we just. Let's keep filling up the board. Nothing to freeze. Okay. And... Oh, okay. Let's see what she does with the last mana. This might be... Oh! Oh. Smart man. But we have an owl, so... And then... Just to... That, that, that. <laughs> yeah, not quite. We could also have one by daggering up. It made no difference which way we went. <laughs> All right, six wins. Let's keep going. Make it seven. Come on, we can do it. And that'll also guarantee us 150 gold. So. Hope we can get that. Let's see here. Valera versus Rexa. Ooh, I'm a bit scared of hunters when I play rogue in arena because, like, I take damage with my hero power and I also take damage with their hero power. Um, uh, I guess this is good if he plays a haunted creeper, like owl backstab. Okay, let's just keep all these actually. It's not optimal, but it's something. And Wolf Rider is decent against uh, heroes that don't have a, a hero power that deals one damage. Like the Hunter. You deal two damage, but it's always to your face. We could definitely argue for trading out some of these cards, but I just think it kind of works. Like, the Haunted Creepers are so common when you play against Hunters, even in Arena, because you're like always gonna pick Haunted Creeper. Because not only is it one of the best minions in the game, it's a beast. And it's a common, so... Huh, looks like I'm just daggering up then. Here we go. That's fine. That's fine. I just need to not get behind on the board. But I have uh, ways that I can, you know, quickly clear some stuff. Spider tank. Well... <laughs> not so happy about that one, actually. He did use the coin, though, so... There is that, but we're gonna be taking... Um, three damage here. Unfortunately. Okay, um... Ah! This is nothing like the priest game. <laughs> we don't actually have anything solid. But what if we backstab the dagger it, and then try to finish it off with the dagger next turn? But this is what I'm talking about. Like, I'm taking damage here with my hero power. So, we really need to get that board fast. At least we have some good minions coming up. The Spiteful Smith has done a lot of good work this run so far. Um, right, so let's play this, finish that off. Okay. 
Let's hope we don't see any Lion Kings. Or well, at least we have an Iron Big Owl for them, I suppose. But, it's turn 5, so... Tracking. Oh no, are you looking for your lion? You're scaring me. Your magic shall not save Alright, that makes sense. Alright, that's... Yeah. Hmm. That's pretty good for him. But let's, um... Play that. Too bad it's silenced. Because otherwise I could have decked it up and killed it. But then again, I not like I would have had anything good to play with it. But I should be able to silence the silence off, right? You should make a card like that. Revert card to original state. Anti silence. Mm. Alright, so we got this array, got that, got to kill that. We're gonna lose this one. I think we need to clear the board. So, dagger up. Kill that. Mana addict. Too bad that it <laughs> that buff doesn't stay on it. So next time we can play Force Tank. Then on turn nine we can play Mountain Giant. Problem is if he plays good minions in the meantime, we can't really do much about it. So it would be nice to play the Owl here, but I guess we could do that. Owl, Warlord. Oh hmm, that would be a 6-6. Six, six. Let's play the Force Tank. I don't think he's gonna run the Lion into it anyway. Do that. Maybe... Maybe silence that next turn. I would love to get some kind of spell. Granted, that's if the Mana Addict survives. Because I would really like to run the Mana Addict into the... Oh, interesting. At least I get healed. He's running a little low on cards and we are 25 life. Oh. Ah, too bad we didn't get it silenced, but... The force tank helped us out anyway. Okay, so we need to get rid of that. Um, silence doesn't really help us. I think we have to play this one. It's just... I wish we had some kind of spell. Oh... So many. Yeah, like a backstab would be really good here. Alright, so if you play... We gotta get rid of it. But do we just play the Mountain Giant? Like we kill that, play Mountain Giant? Okay, you know what, let's do that. Because then next turn... Hopefully we can do some real work here. I mean, I could have played the Arting Commander. The problem is that I couldn't really play anything with the Arting Commander. If I had something I could play with it, like an Eviscerate or something, it would have been way more attractive. I would set up for a turn 10 Mountain Giant. Okay, well, you just already had an attack. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Mm, yeah, now he's just going for the face. Makes sense. I wish you had a Taunt of some kind. That's what I want, like a Defender of Arc, which would be really good here. Art in Commander plus that. Okay, so we need to kill... Man, it's not looking too good here. Okay, but let's see what we can do. We can at least remove... Visible Lethal, but... 
we're gonna get down to one life even without any help. So, hmm, this might be the end. Yeah, the lions are just so strong. Okay. Oh, okay, so he's not rushing me down. Or maybe he has lethal even killing and he's just DMing. <laughs> yeah, alright. Okay, I mean, at least that makes me feel like even if I did make a mistake this game, I was probably still gonna lose because he had way more than lethal there. Alright, got one win short of the seven predicted ones, but not bad, six wins. That's what I first said, right? And then I adjusted it to seven. Let's just forget the adjustment. Let's see, let's get lots of gold. That's a good little money back. Oh! That's like 140 gold. That's pretty good for only six wins. Let's see what's in our pack. Alright. Mm. Boring pack. Alright. Well, let's see what we get in our next run. We have Priest, Rogue, or Mage. Let me know what you think I should pick. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.